Byron 20, it's Upside Down Mrs. Twain, and I have a game called Number Strings that you can play with your piano to become a sharper mathematician. Now, Mom and Dad, we talk a lot about our brains in Room 20. This is the part where all the kids will laugh at my drawing. <laughs> we talk about how our brains are full of things we already know. We know how to ride a bike. We know how to tie our shoes. We know that the dog needs to go out first thing in the morning. All of these things are things we learn in school or from our background knowledge in everyday life. Now, in life, we are constantly inundated with new knowledge. Now, some of this makes it in and sticks with us. And some of it fizzles out and doesn't quite stay. We found out that when we learn, the part that sticks, sticks because we connect what's new with what we already know. So in room 20, we make a lot of effort to connect the new things we're learning with what we already know. This game called Number String is a way that you can encourage your child to connect the new with the known. Now, mom or dad, all you need is a sheet of paper and a pencil, and your child doesn't need anything except their brain. It's really important that this is truly just mental math for them. Start out with an easy fact, like 5 plus 3, one that you're sure they know. Your child will probably know that 5 plus 3 is 8. And once they tell you that, you can write it down. Next, present a fact that is similar, like 5 plus 4. They'll probably also know that this one is nine. Here might be a good time to pause and ask your child what she notices about these two facts. What's the same? What's different? How can what you already know help you with what's new? Next, we have 50 plus 30. Well, I know, your child will probably say, that 5 plus 3 is 8. That means 5 ones plus 3 ones is 8 ones. 50 is the same as 5 tens. So 5 tenths plus 3 tenths is 8 tenths, or 80. Now I have 51 plus 30. Well, if I know 50 plus 30 is 80, I know 51 plus 30 would be just one more, 81. Now I have 80 minus 30. Well, if I look up here, I know that 50 plus 30 equals 80. That's a fact, family. 50 and 30 and 80 are related because when you shuffle them around, you get different facts. So I know 80 minus 30 is the other number in the family, which is 50. Now, if this set of strings is a little too easy for your child, you can print things up a notch. You would still start with an easy fact that she knows, like 5 plus 5. That's 10. 50 plus 50. Well, I know 5 ones plus 5 ones is 10 ones, or 1 ten. So, 5 tenths plus 5 tenths is 10 tenths, or 100. Wow, look at this. I have 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50. Well, I know that these two 50s is the same as 100. So I have two 50s here, and two 50s here. That's like 100 plus 100, and that's 200. Now I have 5 plus 17 plus 5. Now, I know that 5 plus 5 is 10. And we talked in math about how with addition, you don't necessarily need to do things in the exact order it's written. In fact, it's more helpful to look for numbers that are friendly, like 5 and 5. So, 5 plus 5 is 10. And I know that 17 plus 10 is 27. Finally, we have 100 minus 51. Well, I know that 100 minus 50 is 50, based on what we've done up here. If I'm taking one more away, that means I'll have one less in my final answer. So that would be 49. Now, when you and your child are talking about these strings, it's important that you emphasize that they share their thinking instead of just spitting out answers as fast as they can. This kind of thinking out loud will help them become better mathematicians.